Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning, episode 345, back on the topic of baseball today, talking about the Tampa Bay Rays. Former Rays pitcher and former Pirates pitcher, re-signed by the Tampa Bay Rays, Chris Archer is going back to Tampa. Somebody talking about what that means for the Rays, but first question of the day, how many Rays pitchers have won the Cy Young Award, uh, and if you know them, also, what years were they in? So, again, question today, how many race pitchers have won Cy Young and what years were they in? Uh, again, if you know the answer, comment below. And if you don't, stick around to the end of the video and we will reveal the answer. So, let's get right to it. Chris Archer heading back to Tampa Bay. What does this mean for the Rays? Well, simply put, it means a lot, but not enough. Um, this Rays team was kind of a miracle team last year, in my opinion. <clears throat> no... <clears throat> no superstars on the team whatsoever, uh, other than, I guess, Randy Rosarina, who wasn't necessarily a superstar, but played like one. Um, but you just you saw a roster full of young guys. I mean, the Rays cap space can't afford any superstars at all, so you just got a bunch of young guys, a bunch of, a bunch of just guys that haven't really proven anything yet playing good baseball together, which got them all the way to the World Series. Uh, really just quality baseball they played. But it's a, it's a roster that I don't have faith in to do that again. Um, and the, the, a big thing that, ca that carried this team was their pitching staff, both starting, and then uh, their bullpen was fantastic. So of the three starting pitchers that they really, really relied on last postseason between Charlie Morton, uh, Blake Snell, and Tyler Glasnow, two of them are gone. Blake Snell in San Diego and uh, Charlie Morton back to Atlanta. So that right there is why I say that this Chris, Ar uh, Chris Archer signing is big but not enough because Chris Archer – is not as good as either Charlie or Blake Snell, and he's trying to replace them both. So it's just not going to be enough to, to put this team back in the World Series, in my opinion. Uh, taking a look at what Chris Archer has accomplished in his, in his career, he's a two-time All-Star. Uh, his career stats, not too impressive. 60 and 80 career uh, stats, or career wins and losses, sorry, and a 3.86 career ERA. I don't want to put too much weight on that career record just because I think he – is he's electric as on the mound. Uh, I think he tends to 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 fall apart quickly. So he just needs a manager that recognizes when he's falling apart very quickly and pulls him out of the game. I think I think he's good for five six strong innings and then falls off from there. Um, like I said, former Ray he played from 2012 2017 with the Rays. His best year was in 2014. Uh, sorry, 13. He went nine and seven and he had a 3.2 ERA. So he's never really been lights out uh, per se, but he he runs his fastball up up to mid to upper 90s, 95, 97, uh, good curveball and slider. <clears throat> this guy can throw the baseball 100%, but um, he is young. I think he's kind of immature. Uh, he's a hothead kind of. Um, he tends to get emotional on the mound and, and kind of let that get the best of him, so he's not really a, a, a very disciplined pitcher. But I still think this is worth talking about just because I, the Rays need a starting pitcher so bad to replace Morton and Snell, and I think he can play at least a little bit of a role in that. So as far as what the Rays had lineup-wise last year, or what I think they're going into next, uh, going into next year with Austin Meadows again in the leadoff spot, who uh, who struggled last postseason majorly. So really, he was irrelevant. So say he has a breakout year, that could take the Rays somewhere somewhere big. Um, but we saw this, like say in 08 when the Rays were with their last World Series before last year, they didn't come back the next year and and put a, a similar season together. I just don't think it's going to happen. They're not that kind of team. They're not the Dodgers that has a lineup that's better than everybody else every year for the next six, eight years, whatever it's going to be. They have a lineup that was great in one year because they just had this chemistry together, uh, a couple miracles there um, thrown in there to get them all the way to the to what, game six of the World Series. But uh, back in the lineup, you got Meadows, you got Brandon Lau, who, who struggled last postseason, also had a lot of big hits. Uh, you got a Rosarino, which as tough as it is to say, there's no way he replicates last postseason or last season again. He can't. There's no way that that can be replicated. And so much of what he did is why the Rays got to where they got. So you just can't assume that the Rays will be, uh, he'll be able to do that again. That's, that, was a, that was literally a MLB postseason uh, hits record by like, I don't know what he got, it was 30, 32, 33 maybe. I don't remember for sure. But, but um, he shattered the, the previous record, and I just don't see him doing that again. Uh, I got Choi in the four spot. I like him a lot. He uh, had a pretty good postseason. You got Manuel Margot, five hole. Joey Wendell, who Joey Wendell, who I think is a great player. Uh, Willie Adamas, who was borderline terrible last postseason uh, at the plate, at least, but he's great on defense. Then Kevin Kiermaier in the eighth spot, which 
he plays a big role in the team always in the field and at the plate. And then Renato Hernandez in the nine hole and, and Mike Zeno mixed in there when he can. So this race lineup of all those guys, I mean, you can argue Kevin Kiermaier is, is a top 10 outfielder in the league. Maybe you can make that argument. Um, but maybe more like top 15, 15, 20. That sounds more fair to me. But uh, other than that, there's nobody on this team that is really relative to the rest of the league like amazing so or very good at all uh like i said they just a couple guys had such good years last year and just played such disciplined baseball the rays were a small ball team they didn't win games nine to nine to zero they won games three to two four to three two to one whatever so i just don't think that the the signing of chris archer is going to be able to take this team back to where they were uh i don't even think if they had the pitching that they if they didn't trade away snell or charlie morton they had the exact same team as they had this year i think this is a team we might see win a wild card series and that's it because i just don't think that their lineup can put together what they put together last year again i just i mean i'm a race fan i'm not i'm not uh this is an unbiased opinion of mine that i just don't think they can replicate that year because it was so unique it was just a, a such a young roster of just regular baseball players that just did something special that i just don't think can be replicated unfortunately so long story short Chris Archer, uh, I didn't mention his contract. He uh, he was a free agent from Pittsburgh. They signed him for for one year, six and a half million dollars. Uh, obviously, this is a smart move. Chris Archer is not a guy you want to be tied down to. Like I said, emotional, hothead, kind of a mess sometimes. Uh, got, he's gotten fights with Pittsburgh against against the Reds when Derek Dietrich took him yard twice, but that was kind of a that was Dietrich's fault for for being an asshole. But I think. That's smart to sign him for one year. You don't want to be tied down. If he comes out and has a, a sub-2-5 ERA this, this year, which he's never done in his career, and, and he doesn't get in any, any trouble, maybe you resign him for two or three more. Uh, but I think the one-year deal is smart. It's not, it's, it's not a lot of money. Now, mind you, the Rays' cap space is very low. So $6.5 million to the Rays is, is not very much to other teams maybe. But, uh, so it's not an insanely small amount of money. But it's, it's a smart move, I think, to sign him for one year and $6.5 million. So... Again, Chris Archer back to Tampa Bay. Can this be enough to get him back to the World Series? Definitely not. Uh, but it is notable because they really, really, really needed another starting pitcher. So that's all for the video, guys. Question of the day if you're still here. Uh, the Rays have two franchise Cy Young Award winners. That was 2012 David Price and 2018 Blake Snell. Uh, that's all for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in the morning.